Hey guys, it's the Faces Beanie and welcome to my summary of Dev Stream number 157 which will cover the most important parts of the Dev Stream. If you have the time, check out the entire Dev Stream in the link in the description down below. Let's get into it. First up, quest markers are coming which remind you what to do in the middle of a quest in case you forget. Then the way Forma works on your Warframes will change. Warframe abilities will now be linked to your mastery rank in that they won't reset entirely when you Forma a Warframe. Instead, being Mastery Rank 10 will ensure you have 2 abilities unlocked, Mastery Rank 20 will mean you have 3, and in Mastery Rank 30, applying Forma to your Warframes means you won't lose access to any abilities. Moving on to some next changes. The Assimilate Augment will now allow you to roll just like Mesa's Waltz. Mind Control will be getting a 500% base damage buff along with its base duration being upped to 45 seconds and targets will now teleport to keep up with you. Psychic Bolts will have a minor animation change causing enemies to stagger on bolt contact. And Absorb's base range is being increased at max rank and the scaling is capped at 50 meters. Moving on, we got a look at Hildrin Deluxe, a work in progress which will also ship with an X skin. Then we also saw a brand new skin for the Tonkor, which will come with Protea Deluxe. Knights of Nabrus returns in October. The recurring Halloween event from last year will bring back some familiar rewards, but will also bring some Scarlet Spear rewards, including the Basmu and the alternate Simulacrum, as well as a brand new Ephemera. We also saw a great quality of life change coming soon in that players will be able to get tips on Nightwave objectives they are unsure how to complete. Finally, the quest to conquer cancer, an ongoing community charity event throughout October, will reward Warframe players as donation goals are hit. Some of the rewards include the Conqueror Ephemera and some brand new glyphs. There were some technical upgrades shown on stream regarding lighting and in-game audio, so if you're interested in that, I highly recommend you check out the entire dev stream in the link in the description down below. With that, I hope you enjoyed the summary and I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie, signing out.